percent throttle right there. What? He just bought this, got it for a good deal. They wanted to know what was going on. They thought it was like LS swapped or something. I think so. <laughs> Can you pop your hood real quick? Let's show show them what we got. That looks a little different than the last time I saw it. That looks way different than the last time I saw it. That looks good, bro. You've done some work to this thing. A little bit. <laughs> More cosmetic than anything, but everything. Hey man, it's coming together. She looks fire, bro. Oh, I lost my shoe. <laughs> well, I finally got the tune on it. Yeah, the wheels look good. Performance pack style. Got <laughs> some brake rotors. Did you have all this last time? Nope. Yeah, I, I was gonna say. A little bit afterwards it looks too. different. Yes, spoiler looks good. Also, I added a 62 millimeter throttle body. Okay. I gotta get tuned to the car because it's sucking in so much air. It kind of. Uh oh. Acting interesting. Uh oh. <laughs> and got this new present that you gonna square me away with. Yeah, we're gonna install. <laughs> we're gonna install something on uh, this S197 here. Funny thing is that the last time. By the way, being rude, we're here with my buddy Mike. We actually What's used to that? sell cars together once I got out of the army and he's prior service as well. But yes, the funny story about this car is my biggest video ever, <laughs> 1.7 million views. Thanks to all you guys out there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he just bought this, got it for a good deal and had an abundance of upgrades. So yes. if you haven't seen that video, links up above, click the card, go check it out. Check Definitely it out. worth your time. 1.7 million views, viral video. Maybe this will go viral too. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe we'll actually, I've not made a video about this, but maybe I'll actually reveal that 1.7 million view video actually paid. YouTube ad revenue. Keep watching, we'll discuss it later in this video, but we have some more modification for this thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So, we're gonna have to move mine, free up some space. You haven't seen this thing yet. No, not in a long time. <laughs> I'm already drooling from back here. <laughs> <laughs> Twin turbo Mustang. Probably going to the drag strip this weekend uh, to the quarter mile. That's the plan. So if they have a Sweet. test in tune, we will be doing that. Oh my God. Oh yeah, wait till you hear it, bro. Performance modification we're about to do to this thing. He brought it to me because sometimes, sometimes I know what I'm doing. You know, <laughs> nothing's broken yet. Just kidding. <laughs> No, we're going to take good care of this thing today and uh, something that's going to help aid in power delivery. It's going to feel completely different too with the manual. Really? So yeah, yeah, he's still rocking the manual guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got converted a long time ago to a drag racing car and automatic, but yeah, don't just kill me in the comments, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, buddy. His wheels look good on this car. Really good gonna be a fun video gonna keep it entertaining yes and um, I haven't got to spread any love to an older Mustang in a while so that's what we're gonna be doing today is just sharing some uh, I don't know I don't know we're just gonna have fun see where this video goes I'm not really sure yet but cool modification that we're gonna do he's really excited I'm really excited should be fun let's go I think this year we're probably gonna by the end of the year probably chase maybe high eights in the quarter mile we'll see and then go build motor and go really fast we got all the turbo in the world to do it so 2064 67s i've been watching your vids yeah Definitely man everybody else watching also that yeah awesome. hail horse performance twin turbo kit sleeper kit lives underneath still street car <laughs> With a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Soon we'll be uh, actually putting that thing to work and pulling it. 150 mile an hour and a quarter um, is when you really need those. And uh, the cage 
eventually going to work on a cage. The problem is I still like to take it and go get groceries and stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so putting, putting a cage in the car is going to be, you know, it's going to have to happen, but. And I love that. <laughs> yeah, the rear seat elite. CM components, guys. Discount codes in description for stuff like that. Well, really everything that you see on the car, I pretty much have discount codes in description. Check them out. You want to show us what you got? Yes, I will. All right. Haven't taken it out the box yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, so we got us a long box. And it's light. <laughs> I hope so. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can't stop. Uh oh. The Oakleys. There you go. I'll let you do the honors. Just However you want to do it. That way when it scratches up, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I'm nervous now. You mentioned the scratch. No, no, you'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You got enough tape on this thing? Uh-huh. Yeah, we got us a drive shaft. Pretty cool upgrade because he's going to save weight over the two-piece just like I have in mind. What it'll do is free up some rotational mass underneath the car. And with the stick car, it should feel a little bit different. All right. Holy like <laughs> oh yeah all aluminum one yep. piece you can actually gain a little bit of acceleration from just doing something like this it's it's all I good the song, bro. yeah 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 i, really I mean the song. i sold um one time i sold late model restoration sve like uh gt 350 r replicas and then, uh the g2 tires and there was maybe a thousand miles on them mm -hmm. i sold them for like 800 bucks for the set it was way back when. Oh, okay. No, I'll say <laughs> no, not for this. No, <laughs> but I, yeah, I posted it, and they were gone like that. So sometimes, sometimes there's good deals out there. But no, these look good though. I love. Them. Uh, yeah, nice. they look fire, like man. Because they're gray instead of. Black. It, I was about. I was just thinking that the black and black is cool, but yeah. this is a good offset. The contrast. Remember, I got the what do you call it on each side. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember. I see you were going back to that original video. I was listening to you, Eric, yeah. You in my head. Yep, right there. Jacking point. So easy. You know, I got so much stuff. Like in the comments, were like, "What? You never? You should never jack up in the front. You know, in the middle of the car." I'm like, bro, he's got yeah. sub frame connectors and jacking rails on mine. I always do that. I need to replace this jack. Last time, I remember, I was like, I don't know how to change the fluid. Don't get the jack stands from Harbor Freight. Oh, I have I have two of them. The ones that fail? Yeah. Yeah, they have the recall. <laughs> I've got two of them sitting over there. These guys. Yeah, these I think these are the ones. We used these. But yeah. They were fine, but supposedly the Harbor Freight, those two, like they're collapsing or something. So I, I hate jack stands. I do it because, you know, the average person doesn't have a lift, so <sighs> GoPro's gonna fall off my head. And drive shaft is. Yeah, I got a drive shaft loop, so we'll have to drop the exhaust here. Okay. Okie dokie. This is gonna be fun. Oh look, it's kind of like uh, you got like a your drive shaft loop right here, right? Uh huh. And then you also have another one. It's better than the new ones that I've seen. No, they didn't. They put them upside down. Why would they do that? What's upside down? These bolts to get to the bolts. Are you serious? The nuts? Uh uh. <laughs> yeah, just more work. Where does this plug go? I don't know. Oh, that's oh. probably your rear O2s that you're not using anymore. Okay. Got a K member. I got one of mine too. Yeah. By the way, we actually have a lot of new subscribers to the channel. Why is this? It's definitely upside down. <laughs> We have a lot of new subscribers to the channel. Say thank you. Appreciate the support for subscribing. Make sure you turn your post notification bell on because we upload all of the time. Don't want you, uh, don't want you to miss nothing. I'm dying. We're gonna start ripping things apart. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. Go back to the VA doctor. Oh, I know. These jack stands are killing me. We have a drive shaft. I was cheating. <laughs> I was cheating. I didn't want to drop the uh, the exhaust. So I was able to actually snake this out, but we're going to slide them over here and do a little comparison. See how much weight we're saving. There's a lot of weight right here. That's pretty heavy, that area right there. But this is, oh wow, significantly lighter. <laughs> One-handed and uh, probably can't do that with... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that thing is massive. <laughs> Stupid heavy. Feel this, bro. You oh, just say, feel the weight. <laughs> yeah, now. I could work out with this. Oh, yeah. Like I put one in mine. It's one like this, and it's rated for a thousand plus horsepower. So it's about as heavy as the stock one, but I mean, yeah. yeah this is There's right. probably 20 pounds or more difference oh, yeah. in the weight. <laughs> I uh, still got the exhaust in place. I just snaked it out right through there. Kind of tough. Whoo, out of breath. We're going to take a break. And then install this one in just a couple of minutes. We'll pick it up in just a second. This 5 16th is not going to cut it. We're going to get a longer one. This is worth it. Uh, yeah, so it's. Uh, oh my gosh. There it is. <laughs> Holy crap. You got it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
<laughs> oh, you see, you see it. <laughs> Got way too much tire pressure to have some. Well, I could probably put the duty cycle down. Yeah, it definitely feels better since I found that that little exhaust leak the other day at the track. Yeah, I opted the duty cycle and it wasn't getting faster. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, the car still went six three in the eighth, not even leaving under boost. And it was it's great, fast car, right? But it should have been so much quicker. So I went home, dissected a couple of things. Still have a fuel trim issue. Don't know what's going on. But as far as boost leak, that which is what that was, uh, it's taken care of. And now it feels like it's spooling faster. It's like 10 10 percent throttle right there what yeah yeah that wasn't even that was nothing oh my god that's all that's weight that's turned down too so. yeah so the converter it takes a little bit to like figure it out once it does and it locks up it's you're gone i mean gate gate pressure should be somewhere in the ballpark of like 700 with the 85. These cars, I can't have no fun. <laughs> Auto zone, you better have what I need. Two hours later, we're done. So, remember, I told you guys at the beginning of the video, this thing has some special stuff that uh, he didn't know. Well, I didn't know until we brought it here and actually dissect. We're done dissect anything, really. <laughs> we just kind of went over the car and looked under it, over it, and the hood, all that stuff. And uh, what's the point I'm trying to get to? <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired, it man. It had a lot more than what I thought it did. I got a good deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most most of these cars are going for a lot more. Because it had like, what, 60,000 miles on it? Yeah. This is like a year and a half ago or something like that. So no way. What'd you pay for it? Like eight grand? Eight grand, basically. Yeah, so smoking deal. How much does a viral video, 1.7 million views actually... Their hands are so filthy. Uh, net you on as far as ad revenue. I'm not going to go sit on the computer and pull up my analytics. I can just tell you exactly what it is. My video took about three or four months to actually hit 1.7. It did a million views in about a month and a half. This was, uh, it happened in January, I believe. Uh, yeah, it, it's so funny because like the video was doing well and I, I hit you up and I was like, bro, doing, your video is doing really well. It's like 17,000 views. And I remember I sat down to watch a movie and I checked the analytics again. And by the end of that movie, it had jumped like another like 20 or 30,000 views. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And this is the right at the time we were going to go see the 2020 GT500 get revealed. So we had uh, media passes, a really, really fun time. Anyway, so during that trip, we came home and it was just shy of a million views. It went viral. I don't know why. I didn't do anything fancy with the video. Just a Mustang video, right? Anyway, so long story short, at the end of about four months, it reached 1.7. But in January, the CPMs, because right off the holidays, CPMs are trash or terrible. The CPMs are like five bucks on that, that thing for a thousand views. Yeah, but I'm not complaining. Not complaining, they, they did improve later on. Now, my video might be a little bit different because it took a little while to get to 1.7. Some videos will do it on inside of a month and their CPMs will be higher. Video made almost $9,000. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have a redo, what videos? <laughs> what do you think about that, nine grand? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> for making a YouTube video. That's my super right? Yeah, so that, <laughs> so for me, that has not happened since and that, alone was one of the way it was one of the reasons i was able to do so much with this mustang uh way back a year i guess a year and a half ago back in what we're in 2019 no we're into 2020 now 2020, so 2019, 2019 is when it when it happened so big shout out to every one of you guys that watches the video subscribes join the family i really appreciate it uh something like that viral video is something that does not happen very often at all most youtubers never see that um but my encouragement to all of you guys that make uh, video content is just keep keep pressing on it will come you're, you're gonna shine you just just give it time but anyway so wrap up this video we're gonna show you what's under the car what we've done and uh show you i guess what you may have missed in that 1.7 million video view video and uh yet. go check it out yeah it's, it's actually it was actually a fun video man you know the, the, it was a, oh my god i'm falling <laughs> it was a two-part video right because the driving portion came after mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the driving portion, nobody cared about. No, they didn't. <laughs> they wanted to know what was going on. They thought it was like LS swapped or something. I think so. <laughs> Can you pop your hood real quick? Let's show, show them no. what we got. 
Mike bought the car for like he said 8,000 and it had like 60,000 miles on it for no way. Car is a premium, had an MGW shifter in it as well and uh, some other goodies here and there but pretty cool that he was able to spend that amount of money which is not a whole lot for this uh considering upgrades that it has so it's a lot of money you didn't have to spend exactly right Thank so you, previous owner once again always always appreciate buying mustangs with little little treasures here and there you know what i mean so all right and we didn't even show the drive shaft i gotta show the drive shaft <laughs> close out this video properly what am i thinking <laughs> drive shaft. oh jesus it hurt. Oh, i just careful, <laughs> my like legs just like gave out drive shafts sh drive shaft safety loop say that like five times fast this is the ford performance pretty much an easy install i was able to actually get this thing uh slid this way so um the exhaust has got a three inch exhaust on the car um anyway easy install takes you a couple hours like five but <laughs> <laughs> no it's a it's a pretty much this is dirty easy install it's a drive shaft nothing special uh any any tricks tips anything that i may have missed oh yes. yeah remember <laughs> the drive shafts separate they stretch for something in my throat for something like this <laughs> these older mustangs <laughs> what what was i talking about and i lost the words you're talking about the one key thing that they didn't fall the drive shaft stretches yeah yes. so because it anyway we had like an inch and he i didn't think to do it and he figured it out and you learn something new every day i'll probably cut that out of the video <laughs> <laughs> another install down appreciate michael for coming over here letting us uh give some love to this uh older mustang here i really want one of these on the channel i need your help to get one please subscribe to the channel watch the videos post notifications turn on and thumbs up appreciate it or thumbs down i really i mean it's whatever how are you feeling today i appreciate it nonetheless and i will see all of you guys next video hit like uh, and subscribe yeah there we go appreciate it and uh yeah so next video we should be racing hopefully depending on the weather and uh maybe We'll finally put this car in the nines, eights. I don't know, we'll figure it out, we'll find out, we'll see. But man, it looks so clean with no battery right here. Yeah. <laughs> Look, squirrel. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>